Welcome all. Today let us answer the General Studies Paper 1 of Civil Service Mains Examination 2021. The maximum marks for this paper is 250 marks and time allowed is 3 hours. There are 20 questions. First question. Evaluate the nature of Bhakti literature and its contribution to Indian culture. Let's answer this. Bhakti literature represents the legacy of the socio-religious reform movement that prevailed from 8th century to 17th century CE. It was characterized by use of local languages and socially inclusive outlook. Nature of Bhakti literature are as follows. First point, devotional. Kirtana Goshas of Shankaradeva that is in Vaishnava devotional songs and Tirumarai's Tamil songs in praise of Shiva. Second point, non-sectarian. In Bhakti poem, Radha Shama is supposed to be the equivalent to Sita Rama. Third point, it's in inter-regional. That is, Ramacharitmanas and Hanuman Chalisa written in Avad gained popularity across the length and breadth of the country. Fourth point, Inter-religious harmony, that is, Sufi poetry of Baba Farid was incorporated into the six religious canons. Fifth point, unorthodox approach. Guru Nanak in his poems talked about futility of unnecessary rituals and pilgrimages. Sixth point, against elitism. Bhakti literature is marked by use of non-elite elements like regional dialects, inclusion of caste and outcaste, anti-ritual, emphasis on love for God over respect for Him. Contributions of Bhakti literature to Indian culture First point, linguistic development Development of Marathas, Punjabi, Marathi, Punjabi and its scripture and its script, Gurumukhi, Asamis, etc. occurred due to the effort of saints like Tukaram, Sikh Gurus, Shankar Deva, etc. Indianization of Islam occurred due to the endeavor of the Sufi saints, for example, contributions of Nizamuddin, Aulia, Rahim, etc. Music and dance, use of bhakti literature for devotional singing in Kirtana, Kavali, devotional dance such as sataria etc philosophical growth post vedanta ideas were explored by madhavacharya through his dvaita dvaita ramanujacharya in his vishishta dvaita etc assimilation of various saints diverse religious ideas promoted growth in religion emergence of sects like sikhism kabirpan etc. However, Bhakti literature is also criticized on following grounds. The religious and philosophical ideas did not represent a break from orthodoxy. It failed to create uh, any political awakening in people. It promoted servility through ideas of devotion and sustained hegemony of hierarchical social structure. Bhakti literature provided a breadth of relief for Mass, um, massage under condition of social and political repression. The cultural impact was diverse from music to philosophy and language. Second question. Trace the rise and growth of socio-religious reform movement with special reference to Eng Bengal and Brahmo Samaj. Let's answer this. Socio-religious reform movements arose in India during 19th century not only facilitated by but also as a reaction to colonial rule. After the establishment of British political supremacy in India, Young Bengal and Brahmo Samaj represented two important points of these reformist movements. The rise and growth of socio-religious reform movement in India can be traced in following points. First one, people from elite classes who were educated through modern English education provided the backbone of religious reform movement. 
ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ராஜா ராம் மோகன் ராய் த ஃபவுண்டர் ஆஃப் பிரம்ஹோ சமாஜ் ரேடிக்கல் இன்டலெக்சுவல் மூமெண்ட் இன்ஸ்பயர்ட் பை த ஃப்ரெஞ்ச் ரெவல்யூஷன் எமர்ஜ் அண்டர் டிரோஸியோ ஆஸ் யங் பெங்கால் மூமெண்ட் இட் சேலஞ்ச் ஆர்த்தடாக்ஸி ஆர்த்தடாக்ஸ் ரெஸ்ட்ரிக்ஷன்ஸ் இன் டயட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ சோஷியல் இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் அண்ட் ப்ரமோட்டட் ஃப்ரீ திங்கிங் ரேஷனாலிட்டி கொஷனிங் த அத்தாரிட்டி அண்ட் ஐடியல்ஸ் ஆஃப் லிபர்ட்டி ஈக்வாலிட்டி அண்ட் ஃப்ரீடம் third point work of missionary was crucial in spreading alternate system of education which would soon become mainstream fourth point orienta orientalism was pursued to understand local culture but it soon drew antagonism and disgust for native conditions in face of sup- superiority of the colonial classes and its culture fifth point hegemony of ideas like monotheism and cultural backwardness of indian society paved way for prescription of new norms in public culture about rituals conditions and condition of women etc sixth point colonial support for individual reformist common class interest between the prospering zamindars and the british creation of a public sphere of debate through influence of derosios young bengal complete completed the rise of social religious reform movement of the 19th century social religious reforms were a reaction against colonial judgment and native backwardness the movement arose and declined but with lasting impact on society and the public sphere of ideas third question access the main administrative issues and socio cultural problems in the integration process of indian princely states answer integration of princely states into india on eve of independence was crucial last step towards realizing the dream of an independent republic of india but the difference in condition issues and aspiration provided difficulties that required stoic attention following administrative issues hindered the integration of princely state first one territorial contiguity or lack of it such as in patiala kapurthala etc which were combined into patsu or jammu and kashmir whose connectivity was threatened due to disruption of railway and roads passing through the areas under pakistan second lap laps of british paramountcy created a lacuna of sovereignty third point residual power princely states surrendered only right enumerated in instrument of accession and retained administrative rules roles as rulers fourth point the question of authority versus popular will as the legitimate deciding factor divided opinion such as in junagad hyderabad and jammu and kashmir fifth point princely privileges the extent of privileges to be retained nature of the compensation and hierarchical among the princely among princes privy purses etc were points of contention 6 point religious roles of kings such as travancore is in management of padmanabha swami temple and its assets were complex problem following socio religious problem existed in inter integration of indian princely state first point hyderabad had problem with peasant discontent for example the telangana movement Jammu and Kashmir had social discontent against the king and the communal divide in economic status. There was cultural difference between Telugu speaking part of Hyderabad and Urdu speaking and Marathi speaking region. There was economic divide between regions to be integrated such as between Baroda and the princely state of Saurashtra region. Integration of Indian princely states is a mark of administrative statesmanship and socio cultural integration of a diverse people with diverse aspiration fourth question differentiate the cause cause of landslide in himalayan region and western ghats answer 
Landslide are the movement of mass of debris, earth or rock sliding down under the effect of gravity. Landslides are a common problem arose the Himalayas and Western Ghats. However, the factors for the two different are for the two different are seen below. The, the reasons for the landslide in Western Ghats are as follows. Heavy mining activities in the Western Ghat region is the major factor leading to landslide. Deforestation for settlements and cutting for road construction. Third point, anthropogenic activities gave rise to ano anomalies, slope and due to gravitational pull and rain, the overlying material come down. The concentration of heavy rainfall in concentrated areas. Windmill project have led to huge fracture on the mountains loosening structure. Sixth point and uh, these are occur in Ratnagiri, Satara and Iduki etc. Himalayan region. The reasons for the landslide in Himalayan region are as follows. Himalayas are young, fragile, mountains still growing, hence susceptible to natural landslide. The sediments in the mountain are not consolidated and are loose. There is tectonic activity with the plate moving up which causes which causes instability. Hence the landslide can also occur during the dry season. The steep and the sharp slope in the Himalayas are major factors for the landslide in the region. Anthropogenic factors in Himalayas include jhum cultivation, deforestation, and this occur in Almora, Pitoragra, Rudraprayag. Landslide as a challenge has grown in the recent years due to anthropogenic activities in this slide along with sustainable developments policies indigenous knowledge should be leveraged constructions in eco-sensitive zone needed to be checked recommendations of Kasturi Rangan Madhav Ghatkil reports and guidelines of NDME on landslide need to be followed. Fifth question. Despite India being one of the countries of the Gondwana land, its mining industry contributes much less to its gross domestic product in percentage. Discuss. Answer. India being a part of Gondwana land is richly endowed with mineral wealth such as coal, iron, mica, aluminium, etc. However, mining sector of India contributes only 2.2% to 2.3%. Uh, to the GDP of the country. Reasons are for low contribution are as follows. Minerals are located in forested tribal areas. Democratic polity with the mandate for welfare creates conflicting priority of mineral exploitation and tribal development. Multiple clearance and legal hurdles. The mining sector uh, fr helps from the requirement of multiple clearance, which makes the sector unviable and unprofitable. For example, environment, forest clearance, environmental clearance, forest clearance, the mining sector is also susceptible to various legal pronouncements. For example, Supreme Court judgment on coal block allocation affected low coal mining output. High levies, that is tax. Mining sector in India is subjected to much higher tax than other mining geographies. Fourth point, poor exploration, highly restricted licensing regime, disincentivities private players to indulge the mineral exploration. Fifth point, monopoly of PSUs. Mining sector suffer from the <coughs> proper of unproduction usage of asset due to the monopoly of PSU, for example, coal, India's monopoly in coal sector. Slow modernization. India's mining sector has been slow in adopting production, productive global trend, for example, smart mines. The mining sector of India holds immense potential to reduce important import dependence and whole industrial development. In this slide, Faster administrative clearance need to be ensured and security challenges like Naxalism etc. in the mining belt need to be checked. Sixth question. 
what are the environmental implications of the reclamation what are the environmental implications uh, implications of the reclamation of water bodies into urban land use explain with example land reclamation is the process of creating new land for from the sea or water bodies the simplest method of land reclamation involves simply filling the area with a large amount of heavy rock and or our cement the filling and then filling with clay, clay and soil until until desired height is reached land reclamation is one of the most consequential fields of human induced environmental transformation in this light Recl uh, reclamation of water bodies into urban land use as following environmental consequence first point damage to water ecology urban land transformation leads to creation of residential com commercial buildings such as houses restaurant uh, around water bodies causing degradation of water ecology and influx of nutrients for example the lake in srinagar second point increased incidence of flooding Water bodies acts as sponges for extra rainfall. Reclamation of water bodies has led to higher incidence of flood. A case in point in Mumbai which caused seventy one percent of its wetland between which lost seventy one percent of its wetland between nineteen seventy two two thousand fourteen. Species extinction, land reclamation, land reclamation of. Hussain Sagar Lake in Telangana have increased the BD, uh, BOD to one hundred and sixteen milligram per liter. It is detrimental for uh, not only aquatic species but also for aerial fauna. Fourth point: drinking water pollution. Water bodies have purifying effect through buffering out uh, contaminants. Encroachment of water bodies lead to concentration of harmful chemicals such as arsenic, copper, chromium in the water table. For example, encroachment of water body in West Bengal have led to the high level of arsenic pollution. Environmental hazard. Water reclamation uh, for urban land use in the coastal area. may aggravate the incidence of earthquake due to the soil liquefaction and land subsidence the water bodies play an important uh, important part in the sustaining the ecology in this light their conservation through waste water treatment non encroachment reduced anthropogenic stress etc is an important is an imperative seventh question mention the global occurrence of volcanic eruption in 2021 and their impact on regional environment a while a volcano eruption is when lava and gas released from an active volcano often explosively volcanoes have significant impact on the regional environment as can be seen from the example of the falling volcanoes in 2021 Honga Tonga Honga Hapai the sub submarine volcano erupted in uh, December twenty twenty one. Tall volcano the volcano near Manila experienced eruption in twenty twenty one. Naira Gongo the violent explosive eruption of this volcano in this Democratic Republic of Congo affected the local population as it killed dozens of people. Fourth one Iceland the volcanic system of Iceland ex uh erupted in erupted in 2021 it filled the valley with dark black lava for months before the eruption ceased fifth one la palma the volcano system is in the canaries to saw eruption of the explosion volcano in explosive volcano in 2021 impact of impact on local environment plumes of volcanic ashes can spread over the large areas of the sky reducing visibility volcanic eruption erupted volcanic erupted eruption are often accompanied with the events of volcanic lightning lightning volcanic ashes reflects incoming solar radiation leading to the 
to a localized cooling effects in the temperature for example mount karkova broad mini ice age fourth point volcanic ashes are known to increase the soil productivity of the region fifth point carbon dioxide and fluorine gases can be uh, can get collected in va volcanic ashes and can pollute the regional environment making it difficult for animal and humans to breathe volcanic eruption are also known to stimulate earthquake in the region volcanoes are a natural phenomenon most of the active volcanoes are around the pacific rim of fire through volcanoes cannot be avoided step can be taken to mitigate their effects eighth question why is india considered as a subcontinent elaborate your answer a subcontinent is a part of of a continent that has distinct geographical political and cultural identity india is considered as a subcontinent because first point geography india is the seventh largest country in the world indian landmass is bounded by himalayas in the north and the indian ocean in the south that gives it a distinct identity along coastline uh, along coastline it has a long coastline a large desert that is thar highest mountain ranges and large plains that is indus ganges brahmaputra plains gives a physiological diversity that can be observed only on continental scale as per plate tectonics india is a separate plate which collided with the eurasian plate leading to the formation of himalayas second point population india has second largest population in the world much higher than any other continent except for asia and africa unity in diversity india has multiple races religions caste etc speaking different languages practicing different customs but a certain element of unity is visible in all fourth point political identity india is the largest democracy with independent institutions commitment to socialism and secularism makes it different from any other country in its vicinity fifth point diversity in flora and fauna india has wide range vegetation ranging from evergreen forest to deciduous forest to alpen meadows many of the animal species found in india are endemic and not found in any other parts of the world historically even ancient people considered india as separate unit identifying entire land as lying south of indus as india or jambu dwipa so we can say that identity of india as a subcontinent where is well accepted even from ancient times ninth question examine the uniqueness of tribal knowledge system when compared with mainstream knowledge and cultural system answer tribal knowledge system represents intergenerational wisdom in land societies passed on to the present times through centuries of experience and learning while similar characteristics can be seen in evolution of mainstream knowledge and culture tribal knowledge system are unique due to the following reasons first point tribal societies have contemporary knowledge of nature due to continued closeness to forest flora and fauna mainstream societies have moved on to the agricultural basis of society and their cultural knowledge represents impressions of their tribal part which no longer exist second point while mainstream knowledge system are based on vigorous re, uh, reference and questioning of ideas through discussion and scientific verification tribal methods are based on conservation knowledge for example the awa- awareness among tribals of andaman and nicobar about the wall of the sea helped them against tsunami in 2004 tribal knowledge system is stressed in is stored in songs and stories while mainstream knowledge system is preserved in books and recordings tribal knowledge system promote integrated learning 
for the communities in mainstream society knowledge and tradition have bifurcated with tradition becoming subject of study instead of mode of studying the tribal knowledge system are non exclusionary and marked by equity mainstream knowledge system are mixed in barriers like cost of education pay in protection social exclusion etc tribal and mainstream societies are not mutually exclusive systems constant interaction and mutual dependence have enriched both the way forward should be based on based a mixture of mutual learning and preservation through scaled about model is instead of assimilation oh, through salad bowl model instead of assimilation recent initiatives like india's traditional knowledge Di digital library initiative or the neurian a uh, neh nehruvian model of tribal panchil are some other approaches 10th question examine the role of gig economy in the process of empowerment of women in india answer a gig economy is a free market system in which temporary positions are common and organization hire independent workers for short term commitments gig economy can help in process of empowerment of women in india in following ways first point gig employment allows part time work any flexible working hours which allows women to balance their traditional roles so that is homemakers or caregivers with employment gig employment 